an outstanding meeting uh, to, s to meet with the Prime Minister individually this morning here in DC and uh, you know we s spoke about technology and all the, the confidence in the policy reforms that's coming in India and uh, the great potential that therefore that India has uh, from an investment perspective. It was an outstanding meeting. I, I couldn't have asked for anything more. Um, first, I was an honor to have a chance to speak with him. Uh, clearly, with his leadership and what he's done to create a, a really strong balance between industrial policy as well as trade policy, is makes it an ideal opportunity for companies like First Solar uh, to establish manufacturing in India. Um, and his commitment to ensuring domestic capabilities and ensuring his long-term climate goals and objectives with focus on energy independence and security. Uh, I think the, the alignment of what he's trying to accomplish um, couldn't be better for, for companies that are looking to uh, manufacture in India. And I think the enablement of, uh, of an environment that uh, is pro-business is just more, more opportunity for us to be successful and to, to help India achieve its climate goals. Okay. And uh, we have seen that how India is taking a leadership role on a global stage as far as you know, renewable sources of energy is concerned. How do you look at the policies of India as far as climate change, renewable sources of energy is concerned? I think if every country could embrace and emulate what India has done, our ability to hit the long-term climate goal objectives that are established in the Paris Accord won't be a problem. I think India's leadership uh, as it relates to being um, very aggressive in its commitment towards a renewable energy, 450 gigawatts by the end of this decade, and enabling policies in, in support of that and enabling domestic capability uh, to ensure the most competitively advantaged and lowest cost way to deliver uh, renewable energy into the market are, are should be replicated across all major markets around the globe. Well, I had a very good meeting with the Prime Minister. Uh, I told him that Blackstone uh, had already invested 60 billion U.S. dollars in assets in India, and over the next five years, we're planning another 40 billion dollars of assets for one of the 10 largest companies in India. So he expressed his appreciation and talked about the new programs that were going on, including selling assets for the country, uh, which I told him I thought was a very good idea because he could take the money from those sales of assets and reinvest it in the country to create jobs. Mm -hmm.